interim director for our outpatient center for Bay State on King Street in Northampton. It included a, a monetary donation um, as well as setting up a table. We in, um, also enlisted WRSI to do some broadcasting as well um, and then handing out you know some first aid kits and lip balm and, and those types of things. To have the number of people show up for a first time event is, um, is pretty amazing. We saw some really cool costumes. I think I saw Gumby walk by. We saw um, several sports figures come by as well um, and lots and lots of tutus. Uh, this is the first time I've done the uh, worst day of the year run, but I understand this is the first time they've had it here in Northampton too, so, so I'm a newbie. I, I got an email from uh, Habitat for Humanity that said they are going to do this and uh, thought it would be a fun thing to do on a Saturday. It's going to be hard to come up with a better costume than this, but I've got a year to figure it out, so I'll give it a shot. I'm one of the co-organizers and co-promoters of the Worst Day of the Year run. My brother, who works for Good Sport Promotion, he has hosted this event as a run and a bicycle ride in Portland, Oregon. And so this was the first year we decided to launch it in Northampton. I live here and we wanted to benefit the Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity and we also wanted to co-benefit um, my adopted family in Haiti and this is my community and so we wanted to reach out and benefit a local organization that we love and support which is Habitat for Humanity as well as our family in Haiti. I think it was a huge success really fun. You see all the costumes and the food is delicious. All the food was donated by local businesses, River Valley Market, Bread Euphoria, Esalon Cafe. The cookies were homemade by Daryl Walsh. So, you know, we've, we've got a lot of um, great local turnout and um, ton we, we far surpassed our goal in terms of people. Lots of people in costumes out with their kids despite the horrible weather. I mean, it is the worst day of the year. It's a new tradition in Northampton and we wanted to see how it went and it's been so fun and so successful that um, we hope every year to build on it so we can even do more to benefit the Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity and we'll probably continue to choose homeless families, um, you know, supporting the model of Habitat which is to get people homes one family at a time.